Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie, this is Hey It's A Good Life, and I'm so glad you're here. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you out there. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday with your friends and family and loved ones. So, yes, I did a thing. I got some bangs. We had a very long, drawn out debate about this on Instagram, so yeah. I decided to do it. I actually grew up with bangs most of my life and sometimes it just feels like a part of me is missing when they're not here. So I thought I'd bring them back for a little bit. Let me know what you guys think about them in the comments down below. We'll see how long they stick around for this time. In this week's episode, we are going to head out to a local nursery and buy all of the seeds. I have been given the go ahead to enjoy myself this holiday week. And we're not just picking out any seeds, we are picking out seeds from a local company known as the San Diego Seed Company. So if you're in the area and you haven't heard of this company, I want to encourage you to check them out because buying local is super important and it's better for your plants and your garden. But we'll talk about that in another video at another time. For now, let's go pick out all the seeds together. But before we do, I just feel compelled to acknowledge that Christmas sometimes can be a really stressful time of year. It can be a really anxious time and a really sad time and just stressful all around. And so this video, we're gonna go pick out seeds and have a little adventure at our local nursery. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna chat about some ways you can deal with that holiday stress. Maybe, just maybe, Oliver will still be in his spot to join us as our uh, therapy cat of sorts. <laughs> so glad you're here. Let's head out to the nursery and buy all the seeds. Okay, so real talk on the way over here, I just started getting this really bad like tension headache in my neck and in my head and it feels like it's in my sinuses and I don't know if it's like allergy related or I need food related or water related, uh, but I'm gonna take care of myself. And I really normally wouldn't, normally I really wouldn't stop to film this, but we're talking about dealing with stress and I've got something going on. So I'm gonna show you what I do, which is I do a mental checklist in my head. Okay, do I have enough water? Do I have enough food? Are there any oils that can support what I'm experiencing right now? So I pulled over, I'm gonna oil up. I'm actually gonna pop into this coffee shop that I've been curious about and uh, see if we can't get rid of this tension so that I can have a really sweet seed shopping experience. Cause come on, I don't wanna have to deal with this headache while I'm shopping for my beloved seeds. get used to this whole bang situation again. <laughs> See, I feel so much better after fueling up and oiling up and just taking a minute. There's so much value in checking in with ourselves on really basic things like, have I eaten enough? Did I get enough water today? Did I take my vitamins? Do I need to use the restroom? Do I need a little time out? Do I need to go catch my breath? I know that so many of you who watch this channel are mamas and people who are huge givers with huge hearts. And what's so easy is when you're a giver and a carer and a caretaker, you end up caring for everybody else and putting yourself last, which we know is not sustainable. So it's good to check in with yourself as much as you would check in on a friend or a loved one. Do what you need to do for yourself. Now I'm ready to go buy all the seeds. <laughs>
All right, guys, so we're back. We've got a storm rolling in, so I apologize in advance for the shifting light. Oliver was with us, but now he's really busy hunting some birds outside. Like an entire family of morning doves has decided to make my garden their home. So we're gonna let them do their thing and let Oliver do his thing and chirp and talk at them. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, come here. Oh, okay, come here. All right, he's with us. See, say hi, say hi, say Merry Christmas. I always look like I'm super grumpy. It's like my own version of Grumpy Cat. <laughs> oh, I love you. I seriously have the best cats in the world. All right, so I wanna show you my seed haul, but before we do, let's get into what I promised you, which is some stress-reducing tips for Christmas. So I asked some of you guys on Instagram, what would you wanna ask a therapist about reducing your stress this Christmas? Kayla wrote, how and when is it okay to say no to a holiday party or get together invite? I'm an introvert and sometimes it's just too much. I love this question because it's something we should all be asking ourselves and it brings me to tip number one. Listen to your body. Like you saw me do earlier in the video, I had to take a break mid filming because I wasn't feeling well and a headache just came out of nowhere and it turns out that I needed a little bit of fuel and a little bit of water and just a little respite after driving and stopping at that coffee shop helped so much. And so that's tip number one, always listen to your body. Like I said earlier, I know so many of you are mamas and papas and you give and you give and you give to so many and you're often last on your very own list of giving. This can lead to having a very empty cup and we all know that we really don't have anything to give if our own cup is empty. And so it's really important to take care of yourself and to fill your cup first. To put on your life vest first, to put on your oxygen mask first so that you can then give to others. We have to take care of ourselves before we can truly take care of anyone else. All right, so tip number two. Tip number two is take a healthy time out. Overstimulation at Christmas is real. I felt it this year while I was out shopping. I was like, whoa, this is too much. Oh, this lighting is too much. Oof, it's getting bright up in here. Okay, people crossing your boundaries at Christmas is real. Inappropriate questions and remarks about your life at Christmas is real. Feeling burnt out is real. And it's okay to take a healthy timeout. So what is a healthy timeout? Well, a healthy timeout in short is one that honors you and it honors the other people that you're with. For example, a healthy timeout is not blowing up at your partner or your family because you've been overstimulated or boundaries been crossed or you've been pushed too far and then leaving. That's not a healthy timeout. A healthy timeout is taking advantage of tip number one and listening to yourself and honoring what you need. So that might look like realizing that you're feeling like you're starting to hit a limit and to acknowledge that in yourself and let your partner or your family know, hey, I'm not feeling so great right now. I just need a minute to recoup. I'll be right back. I need about 10 or 15 minutes. That's the second part of a healthy timeout. A healthy timeout sets a time limit. And in our family, we generally take about 10 to 15 minutes for timeouts. And so we offer the other person reassurance that we're not going anywhere. We just need a minute and we'll be back in about 10 or 15 minutes. Remember that once you do hit that 10 or 15 minute mark, it's important to honor that time and to come back in a timely fashion. And lastly, my friend Michelle from Farm Life Outfitters wrote in, so pretty, thank you. What's your favorite tool for de-stressing? I think I've shared this tool in another video, but I'll share it again here and maybe I'll even do like a stress series. If you guys are interested in it, we can talk about some of these tools. Um, my favorite tool is called Safe Place. And so I'll show you guys what that looks like right now. So Safe Place comes out of the EMDR protocol and EMDR is a treatment for PTSD. It's something that I specialize in. And I got specialized in it because one day when we have the healing farm, I really want to have veterans out and I want to offer them services for their service to our country and to us. And EMDR is the most effective tool for treating PTSD. So that's why I got trained in it. And that's where this tool comes from. So this is safe place. You essentially use your mind to go to a place real or imagined. That's the most safe, happy, calm place you've ever been. So let's do it together. Go ahead and close your eyes comfortable and imagine a place that is your safe place. I want you to bring to mind everything that you see there, everything that you hear there, everything that you smell there, everything that you feel there, 
and anything you might taste there. And as you hold that in your mind, you're gonna start to tap back and forth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take a nice deep breath. Let it go. And you can do that again two more times. Safe Place is great because it uses bilateral stimulation to hack your body into rest mode. And so if you're feeling really stressed, really elevated, really anxious, Safe Place is something that you can use before you go to sleep at night. You can do it secretly under the dinner table, under your office meeting table. You could excuse yourself at work if you need to and go do it in the restroom. Like there are a number of ways that you can use Safe Place. And so I always encourage people to find what feels best to them. Now, please do keep in mind, I am a therapist. I'm not your therapist. I'm just here to share knowledge with you for your consideration. Of course, always use caution when taking advice from people on the internet and always consult your physician or your therapist first. All right, well, thanks for watching this week's episode all about ways to reduce your stress this Christmas and buying seeds for our winter garden, which I almost forgot to show you guys. So really quick, let me get my seeds. So I didn't go crazy with seeds because what they ended up having in store was a lot of warm weather crops. And I already have a lot of seeds for warm weather crops and I'm looking specifically to start our winter garden and to get some cool weather crop seeds. So I didn't go too crazy and I figured I'll come home and finish my order online. Um, but I am gonna show you what I did get that I'm super excited about. I got these beautiful red burgundy onions. I got these gorgeous heirloom watermelon radish seeds. Check out this heirloom kohlrabi. I don't even know how to cook kohlrabi, but it's beautiful and I'm gonna learn. I also got some purple moon kale because, and this is from Renee's garden. It's not from San Diego Seed Company, but this was so beautiful, I couldn't resist. And then this was just calling my name as well. Moon and stars melon. I didn't have a chance to grow that this warm season, so I got this while I could. I will try again next season. I'm gonna finish up my order online and I'm gonna buy some things like garlic and basically any other kind of greens I can get my hands on. I'm really interested in starting a garden that we can juice from this winter. So that's what I'm gonna be focusing on. But I'm really excited to share with you my seed haul so far and stay tuned for the next video where we actually plant the winter garden. And I'll show you everything I've got what we're planting and why I'm planting it. Thanks again for joining me today, you guys. It's been great to be with you. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode and let me know what you think about the Christmas stress reducing tips and if they work for you. I do read every single comment, so be sure to let me know how it worked out for you if you decide to use any of the stress reducing tips that I recommend in this video. I love hearing from you and I really do read every comment, so come on back and leave a comment down below. And of course, I'd be happy to make a video about, about a topic that you're curious about. All right, you guys, it's been great to be with you. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. Be good to yourself, be good to others, and I'll catch you guys in the new year. See you in 2020. Bye.